come and see you. So when he came, he looked at it, he said, give it to me. He looked at it, he said, this is, this is a surgical thread. I said, surgical what? He said, surgical thread they used to uh, stitch up. Uh, when, they, when somebody had a surgery, they would use it and stitch up the place. I said, you did get into my body now. Nah. I don't know. I'm just seeing it. And meanwhile, since April, I've not been seeing my flow. So we kept it on the table. Him. I say God. Somebody say power. I pray for you. Any power torment you shall die suddenly. You read what she said. Surgical group inside a womb. Who put an egg? And she said, it, he said, immediately the word came, your womb has opened. It's from God. And she got home, what she never expected, she saw it. You see, that's how God worked. The question is, how the surgical rope they used to tie a womb inside? How did it enter there? Eh, leave those people. Hey, pray, die, die, die. That can't pray, they pay my body. This is a prayer that brings answer. This is a prayer that demons see the wrong. Listen to me. If powers can still come here and sit down with somebody, with this hot prayer, you should know that those churches where they just speak Rema, they are in serious trouble. I know what I'm saying. I don't like mentioning some things. It means some people are here that was in that meeting in the sofa. A sister came. One of them, I said, are from that ministry. Very big ministry in this town. If I'm one of the most popular ministers in this town, I'm not sure the name. She was a chorus star there. But all of a sudden, she could not sing again. Her voice just low. Which crap? After the program, she... In that dream, say, idiot. Now here you can't hide. I imagine you know this place. Say, you won't overshine us. Now we lock your voice. Bring the key. Let's unlock our voice. Before I, I the prop are locked out. Once you open her, they open the bar and they throw the key to her. The four of them walk out. Her voice open. She was shocked in the same choir. And she knew all of them, the four of them that came. If you don't get fired, then go die. That's yes, so. all. So tomorrow, on Sunday, when I go pray for fire, leave everyone to look for, pray for it because. When fire comes down, you break. When you hear the word came, a dual spirit following you is separating now. Now fire now. As the word comes, it comes with fire. And once the fire comes, hit the power. And the power will fall. When the power falls, you break. I pray for you. I want to hear three power women. Any power that has about to frustrate your destiny shall die suddenly. Somebody shall fire. Sister, praise yes. the Lord. Yes. It's many ones. Okay. So, um, continue, madam. The month of May, I was also here. So, when Daddy called for the people that will support the building project, so I came out and I joined them. Then I redeemed my own vow, and we have been believing God that we need a house in the village. Because we don't want to be staying in the family house. It's too crowded when everybody comes back. So to the glory of God, now that, and last week he said that two of us will go for the project that God has answered the prayer. And I said that the program again is this week that I cannot go. So when I say, okay, let's divide ourselves into two. You go while I come here. So both of us traveled on Thursday. And to the glory of God, the foundation of my house in the village, I've just started today, today. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. But please, I want to cancel you. Madam, is that your first house? Is that your first house you are building? You are building house here. Okay, no, Allah. Please, your first house shouldn't be in your village. Tell your husband. I'm begging you. Listen to me. Your first house should not be your village. Listen to me. But if you have enough fire like me, you can go and build. 
Because if they put charm, the charm will work. If they try to stop them, but if you look at fire, look for land, buy very close to this town or a town close to your village, a city before your village. Build there for now. If you go for holidays, stay there, go and greet them from there, go back. Many people problems started the day they went and put block in their father's compound. Especially if your father's compound is your grandfather that owned it and they cut land for your father. Or go, go and buy your land outside. Leave that land. Go and build house outside your father's compound. Don't put block in that same place. They will fight you. Most especially if the whole house in that your father's compound, everybody's mud house. That house. No glass, no, wood, no wooden window. You not carry your head like Papa. Call enter there. Say if you go CC, they go show you pepper. <laughs> they go carry your block, your sand, your cement, go kobu. <laughs> Go hang up for three. They hang your business. That's the end of the journey. Walk close, road close, money close. Yes, they hate progress. Listen to me. You've heard what is happening. Witches hate progress. They, they don't care. They rejoice at doing evil. It's not the issue of you're afraid. It's wisdom. Limit your battery. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? Wisdom. Have you read the Bible? There are many times, and Jesus withdrew, he treated from the crowd. You never hear that? Because you know, same time to die, never come. He will escape. Even God had to carry Jesus Christ and run to Egypt. Are you saying God cannot send angels to come and protect Jesus? He can't. But at that particular moment, <laughs> Herod was determined to kill Jesus. And there's no way he will not get him. So God knew that the only solution now is not prayer or angels from heaven. It's the best thing to move the boy out of the city. And they move Jesus out of the city. He said, wait until the word comes. And the time came, the word came. Those that are sick in life, they are dead. Come back. And he came back. So if God can retreat, who are you? I can't fire another side of Avoid certain things. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Glory. I've come to return all the glory to God for all that he has done for me. Last, this nonsense must stop. I gave testimony of how the strong man of my place of work was shifted just after the program. As we are about to shout um, the last um, hallelujah. I saw it is settled, written on the altar here. My prayer point was, oh Lord, settle me in my career. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How did it happen? God just decided to honor me, deliver me from the hand of the strong man and honor me. In my place of work, June was to, is the month that they decide the fate of everyone. So I was really praying. I said, God, help me because I, I don't know anybody. And God decided to favor me. In the mix of the mighty, the strong, the connected, and everything today, people were struggling to see my face. In the whole of South, Southeast, my branch came up satisfactory for over 15 years. They have not had it. And it was written everywhere. They sent the mail to everybody telling them that it has never happened in the recent time. So I just want to thank God for choosing me. And today, as we went for the general meeting, people were like struggling to see me. Who am I in the mix of the strong? But because of this altar, I decided to be paying 20% of my uh, tithes instead of 10% because I said the same grace that is on our double, and double grace that our daddy has, that is what I want. And to God be the glory, that grace came upon me and I was choosing. So God be the glory. Ah, I want to pray for you. That's 
same grace that will distinguish you in your father's house, in your business, your place of work. If you can shout to the power of amen, receive it on the Louder and louder. Somebody say, I receive by fire. There is somebody in this meeting now. This is wonderful. Before the end of this year, before December 31st, they will accuse you that you do money ritual. You know why? There is a breakthrough that is coming that you, you will be surprised. Because, listen to me, right to the that it will be a 360 breakthrough. A breakthrough that will just be like night and day. A breakthrough that will be like night. Say, is this Sister Jennifer? No, it's not Sister Jennifer. Are you sure? Is this Brother John? No, it's not. No. They will begin to argue. Nah, him, maybe him. Nah, him, maybe him. That's what you say. Ah, listen, when the word comes, you don't need to look at your condition. Just say, man, receive it and never give. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Take your seat. God bless you. Yes, ma. Fire on now. They don't disturb you. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for healing. Since last month, I've been having this moving thing in my tummy and pain. But since um, since yesterday that I came in here and, and, and the word of God came forth, since, since that yesterday, the, the pain has gone and the moving object is no longer there. So I've come to return all glory to God for healing me. Are you clapping for this great God? Number two. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mr. Clement Adam Nube. Actually, I'm here to thank God for giving me the grace to see the beginning of this new month because I have a case with two occultic men and they programmed me to die at the end of this month, this past month. So I came on Friday and uh, when Daddy made a prophetic statement that there are two occultic eyes that are watching somebody or following somebody, I knew that that prophetic statement was made because before I came to this place, I went to a church and they told me that those men I have the case with, they have already planned to kill me at the end of this past month. So I should pray very hard. So when I came and that prophecy came, I know that the prophecy was for me and God has preserved my life to see the beginning of this new month. So I just came to return all the glory to God in Jesus' name. Anyone looking for your head, if you can shout to the path for me, they will die for your sake in the name of Jesus. Louder and louder. Take your seat. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Church, I want to thank God how he revealed this place for me. Because for past three years, I've been looking for where to go for deliverance. Although because of the way churches are now, I don't, I'm afraid to go somewhere they will lay, my heart, lay, lay hand upon my head and take the small one I have. So, since then. Yeah, we think, dog. This man we ain't get. We don't go call it that one again. He's very correct, though. He's very correct. He is absolutely correct. This man we ain't get. They go call it that and join the house. I have prayed for a sister in this place here. A very big man of God that you watch was manifest. I will not mention his name, but I love my head. He's a pastor. 
He said, I should let her go. If I release that woman now, my ministry will close. She cannot have a group. I collected her wound. And I'm using it for the ministry. Pastor, if I leave the room, my ministry will close. My minister, they were telling me, Pastor, ask the name. I said, I'm ask the name. You know, we'll be keeping me. I know the person. The person knew for me, it had not been for three before that thing happened. So he knew me in the sense. Man. So I know we we'll call the name. That sister went to look for food or the wound. In that ministry. And the man ended up collecting a wound. He knows what to say to you. By the time, if that man had not shot his name now, before he knew, you are the one that would go to town. Oh, 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 before he knew, I mean, I'm going to push you, you go to sleep for your house. So we don't let you know, know because me, I know the man knows me, I know him. We met in the realm of the spirit before that event. So I didn't, I didn't ask the man of God, don't disgrace me. Man of God, don't disgrace me. I said, No, I'm not disgrace you. Let the woman go. My only the woman said, No, I cannot leave this room. And everyone that man did that thing to after two, three years, they died. Because he will play a screen to them in the dream and show them, you see this one, I'm using, see this one, I mean, you are next. That star had that dream thrice. <laughs> and I told her, you will not die. You will not die. Although I, I run to the name of the Lord, you will not die. Others can die, but you will not die. But you know she's alive. So be careful. Be what? Don't, please, if you want to go anywhere, take time, maybe two days or one day, it depends. I don't know how you, for me, if I take two days to request something from God, I get the answer direct. You can use uh, maybe two days as the case might be. Tell God, I'm going to LMA. That man that is there. Are you with him? Do you know him? Or he's on his own? It's not a crime. The church you want to go to, this fellow, are you with him? Lord, let him be the last prayer you pray before you sleep. God will never allow his children to make mistake. Once you depend on him, he will speak to you by revelation. Amen. Then whatever you see, use it and go. But if you don't say anything, it means don't go. Because you must either have word or no word. If you don't hear anything, don't go. Then we say, but don't go. But if you hear word, say go, you go. You don't make mistake in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. So since then, for past three years, Last year I was transferred from my workplace to River State here. So from then, I was early this month, I was talking with my one of my colleagues that I want to go for deliverance, but I don't know where to go. The guy said I should go uh, um, prayer city for Lagos. I said, ah, but the place is far. But what I'm passing. I am wearing problem as I wear this cloth. That is how nothing like favor, nothing. If I, somebody promised me something before I know it, sorry. If I see a man uh, propose to the person, before I know it, when I start to pray at that minute, story will change. So from there, oh, God, I said, you say if you see woman, woman, yes, say you won't marry the woman, yes, when I start the journey, when yes. you get close small, yes, story will come, yes, as you talk fine like this. As you talk like this, ask your neighbor, you got a problem? You don't hear Not, yes, fire on. Not one, not two, more than five women. Ah, so from then I noticed that it is not ordinary. <laughs> sir, so I said, wait, what would they tell you? They don't run away. When I started praying, before I know the person will start stop picking my call. You don't, you don't pick your call again at all. Woman, when they look for us, man. Chai, 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 chai. Oh, guy, they hear. Who might they look for us? But plenty of any power that want to frustrate you, let the power die. You don't ever do. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Somebody shall fire. Yes, sir. Fire on. Oh, guy, I like you. Fire on. So the guy told me to go prayer city. In the month of April, 
I enter motor for here. Go to prayer city and come back. But I don't know that this kind of deliverance place is existing. And I watched it with MFM on there, Zona Headquarter. And nobody told me. So, Mike, yes. As I went for the prayer, for the prayer, deliverance, I, I get there. We did uh, after the deliverance, three days drive fast. But as I, as I came back, I was not satisfied. I started looking for another place. I was planning if I close for December, work, I will go there until work will start. So, but last month, last month, April, middle of, uh, in the beginning of April, no, June, I mean, I was sick more than one week. I can't even eat, I can't drink. One day, I, I got to my working place. As I pray finish, I was sleeping. I start hearing regional headquarters. Regional headquarters. As I woke up, I said, what are they doing for, uh, at a regional headquarters? I used to pass here. I, I used to see the church, but I never entered here before. So as I woke up in that, in that dream, on Thursday, you reach on Sunday, is the day the the last month program started. So on Sunday, being the last day of the nonsense must stop, I dressed. I woke up early in the morning, five o'clock, I bathed, dressed. I got here around after six. As I want to enter, I saw people everywhere. People are sleeping. I said, what is happening? I went back outside. I asked one brother, is there no service here? He said, there is service, but they are having a deliverance program. I said, okay. I wait. After service, pastor say, if you come for nonsense, must stop. Stay. But if you, if you come ordinary service, au revoir. I see that. I, I said, no, I will not go. Let me witness why. Let me see what the reason why God said I should come here. I see that I had myself. I didn't, I don't even have an idea that this kind of thing is happening. I had myself. Pastor said it more than Three times I had myself. So after the after the service, the nonsense must stop. After the program, first they announced for the breaking the yoke of marital day. I said I must attend this one. The on that the day the program started, I told Morgan for office, I want to travel for village, that I have some issues to settle. That day I carried my back. I came here. I say until the <laughs> until the program finished. They announced for this program. I said, no. Maybe, yes, Mike. I said, I must attend this one too. I wait. On Thursday, I told Morgan that I want to go and collect my license. He reached on Friday, <laughs> um, on Thursday, on Thursday morning. After we closed for uh, crossing over, he reached in the morning. I reached, I reached my working place. I marked him. I started coming here. On Friday, the same thing. Today, I told him that I want to go and see my friend at the protocol, that I will not come, I will not come to work. So witness all the prayers. <laughs> In fact, all the prayer points that they raised for here, they take work for me, pass, not any other person. <laughs> so I want to thank God to review this kind of place for me. This one, finish. I want to thank God again for another testimony. Before I came for the crossing over. I was having something. If I eat within 30 minutes, I will stay hungry again. My body will be shaking. For more than two weeks, I went to buy every day. I will be drinking more than the milk. Nothing. I complained for our uh, site nurse. He said I should, go, I should go and buy one medicine. I buy one medicine. Nothing happened. I went to, I said maybe my blood, I have a shortage of blood. I went to buy uh, 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 blood uh, tonic. The same thing. But on, on Wednesday, as I came, although I was thinking how I, I would take do the fasting for this program. On Wednesday night, we were praying. After we closed, I noticed that they, they hungry. That night, I, I, I drank tea before coming. But before, even if I eat a plate of garlic, within 30 minutes, my body will be shaking as if I'm doing seven, seven days dry fasting. But after we pray finish on that night, everything disappears. I want to thank God 
But because he is so faithful to me, I say may his name only highly be exalted in Jesus' name. Oh God, don't worry. Anyone where you start now, you go marry. Amen. <laughs> Clap for Jesus Christ. Amen. You don't know what God is doing for you that you are having place to marry. He spent, oh God, how much you pay, go Lagos? How much you pay, go Lagos? 25,000. Going and coming. 35. 25. Okay. 15. And... <laughs> Amen. You know why? You know, you know why I asked him? I wanted to find out that he paid for that trip. He didn't add accommodation. He paid for that trip. So utilize this opportunity and pray. Because you can't tell where they will take me to next. It might be outside Port Harcourt. So, and if it's outside Port Harcourt, you either go to Prayer City, Lagos, or you go to Prayer City, Wari. Or you either go to Lagos or Wari. Go Wari or Prayer City too. You either go to, that's a quick jabba. Either you go to a quick jabba and Wari, or you go to Lagos. Oh, it's not cheap. The transport fare alone is enough. You know, you know, add uh, food, everything I bought. You didn't add. By the time you try to calculate everything, you must have spent nothing than forty thousand for that trip. Am I correct? But you heard him now from his house. It is very much fifteen era. Can we clap for this great God? Please, nobody join that queue again. Nobody join that queue again. Okay, let's take this one. Church, praise the Lord. I want to give glory to God for what he did for me and my family. On Tuesday last week, I went to the uh, clinic. They checked my BP. My BP was 180 over 120. And the doctor screamed. And he said they would admit me. And I told the doctor that, no, doctor, I, you can't admit me. And I said, but madam, the thing is high. So uh, in the clinic that I was calling my husband, calling, 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 was not picking. So they placed me on drugs. And he asked me to go for me to come back on Friday uh, morning. So when I went into the clinic, I prayed in my house and in the, at the reception in the clinic. I told God, I said, I lied on this altar of this church. I say, God, as I'm going inside there, I say, God, let everything normalize because for my life, nobody has suffered that thing in my family. So whatever witches and wizards are planning in my family, they will not see me. So when I got in, they checked my vitals. And when she checked, she now told me that, Madam, it's 120 over 80. I say, glory be to the name of the Lord. So when I went inside, the doctor checked and said, ah, Mother, what, what, what did you do? I said, to the glory of God. Because when I told my husband, my husband said, suffered this thing before. It was when I had my daughter and the thing was normal. I said, praise the Lord. Then this evening, my daughter, because I picked her on Friday when she closed from school. So when we got here, she was doing an, 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 our homework. So I noticed that she's always touching her ear. She'll talk this one, she'll talk this one. I said, ah, why are you touching your She said, no, that is not paining her. So uh, as I was in where we are sleeping upstairs, I asked my neighbor, and I saw that she had this ear uh, cutting board, and I picked uh, uh, from the can. So I called her, come, let me clean your ear. So when she came, she was, she was holding her ear. I was like, why are you copying your ear? Yeah, and I saw that there's something in her ear. I was confused. I don't know what to do. I checked the other one. I didn't even know that the, she put something here and the other one. When I checked, the same thing. I was confused. I was just screaming to the hospital. And I said, ah, I came for prayer. I didn't come for hospital, God. So this... 
the lady dead. I was a woman there was, he was telling me, calm down, calm down, calm down. As I heard that thing, I don't know what to do because I came with this BP, this thing, I used to check my, my came at the checking, it is normal. So as I was, I was, as I, I was looking at my daughter, my, but my, I don't know how I was feeling. I don't know what I was feeling. So she now told me to calm down, calm down, calm down. So I now sat my daughter down and I asked her, you do pick cutting board from this uh, mommy uh, and to put in your ear. She said, no. I was about, I was shouting at the time and I heard a voice, calm down and I call her and I asked her, what, what, did, what is that in your ear? She now told me that mommy is paper. I was, I don't know what to do. So and I called her. I sat her down. One woman gave me something. So I tried the first one, I remove it. So the second one, it was as if the thing is inside. I was confused. So I now called the woman that was with me. I took the torch uh, light. The light was on, but I was not seeing her. I wore my glasses. I was able to remove it too. I've come to return all the glory to God for what he has done for me and my family. Praise the Lord. I pray for you this year. You will not cry in the name of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Chinelo. I have come to return the glory to the name of the Lord for his mercy, for the salvation of my soul. My sister introduced me to this ministry in the month of December. One of the challenges that I used to have was this asthma. This asthma has tortured me had really dealt with me. There is no drug. So in, in fact, I always carry, carry drugs in, the, in my bag anywhere I'm going because they can start anywhere. The thing, if, in fact, what, how I came here on 29th of December, I told my children, let me not stay in the house. I might die in the house. But when I came here, we, uh, uh, throughout that time, nothing happened. But one of the words that our daddy used to say is that he said, if you're praying, you have not seen your own miracle, keep praying. Don't give up. And that was how I continued. To the glory of God, today, I do no longer see those problems. I say, may the name of the Lord be highly exalted. Gone and never to come back again in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure it's a former bridge. Though I've been hoping for this program for a long time, and a friend of mine told me that the program is on here. So today, though two days I was able to come, but money issue began to be a strategist, but I told God I must be here. And to the glory of God, I was able to have the money coming here. The challenges came as I entered the year. But I came to give the almighty God of this commission the glory because I opened up the program. During the afternoon after washing, I slept at the back of the stocking brooms. As I was there, finished, I, I prayed. I prayed. Actually, I key up to the prayer point that he gave to us. And as I was praying, I later slept off. Slept off. And I said, God, I need a revelation. And no and behold, after sleeping for a long time, I heard a voice. It is time for you to marry. It is time for you to marry. It is time for you to marry. Stand up. It is time for you to marry. And in that dream, I was speaking refuge and I woke up. He said, it is time. I was even hearing a voice from this group over there. It is time for you. Stand up and go. And I woke up. I thank God when I now woke up, I joined the cleaning. I joined the throwing of the dustbin. And a voice said, afflictions can never rise the second time again. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yesterday, when we finished praying, I was lying down there. The Lord spoke to me. He said, tell your brother to sing. Okay, okay. You don't do. You don't do, you don't do. Yes. He said that he should sing it for seven times. I said, okay. Then he spoke again. He said, I should tell somebody, I know the person, that he should pray for anointing that would ease every area of his life. Okay. And I said, Lord, I came here for my own problem. So when daddy was talking this evening, it came. But then another message came for one person. That is my boss where I did my NYC. 
He said, I should tell him that any power that wants to mock him tomorrow, let them be mocked now. I now called him. I told him that this is what the Lord said. Before I finished telling him that my account ring, bam, and it was him. What was remaining in my account was 1,000 naira when I withdrew my transport coming. But as I talked to you, brethren, that account is reading more than 6,000 naira. And I said, <laughs> the Lord who has done that, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. You will get my lot in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Margaret. I want to thank God for all that the Lord has done for me. Last month, June deliverance, this nonsense must stop. I was here. But before I came here, I had a pain at my back. I prayed. I said, God, please, I don't want to return with that pain. So that Thursday when I came, I was still praying. When the pastor came out, he said, you have a pain. At the, you have moving objects at your back. It's a sucking, blood-sucking demon in form of a lizard. I stood up and I, I received. I was okay. Immediately, the pain, the pain left, and I was okay. I couldn't feel those pains, and the moving object is gone. Secondly, I want to thank God for my school. I, all my life, I have been suffering from one school to another full certificate. There was a sister here last month, deliverance. She gave a testimony concerning her school. So in school, I have challenges. This lecturer will come and see me, come and have fun, come and do this. I said to them, no. They told me, you will fail. If you don't want to come and see me, you will fail. And true, uh, truly I will fail. So at a point, I had failure, failure, all true failure. In my dreams, I will write exams without finishing. I've been packing um, snails. So it was like that, like that, like that. But when I, after last month deliverance, I went back to school. I also had missing results up and down. So when I went to check my results, I met with my exam officer. She was like, um, you will go. You will go. You can't continue this school. You have a missing result. Go and look for those results. I told her, Ma, I applied for this result, but I've not seen it. She said, go and look for your results. When I came back, I felt bitter. I was crying. But at a point, I went back again. She was like, who are you? Go to church and pray. This your problem is becoming too much. But I can't rest. I can't rest because of you. Let me see what to do. Let me just see. So another day I went again to see her. When I got there, she fixed all the results. So I want to thank God for all that the Lord has done for me in Jesus' name. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. All these lecturers that are sleeping with people's children, they will sleep with their children. Say better, amen. That's why we can't sell you. If you get admission, become born again. Don't do here, tie scarf. Don't wear those short shorts, get will show your backyard. Wear magze. Mary Amaka, where they flow, tie your scarf, no pull makeup. When he say, God bless you, sir. Every time he say, God bless you, sir. He go, go talk to you. It's the truth. But when you wear, you know, listen to me, listen to me. Many of you are the one that cause the problem. Listen to me. I, I, I was telling my child, I said, my moral, late Dr. Mike Moral says something. See this one now. Somebody go to tell me, say, they sleep. What might I talk about? They sleep. 
let my Dr. Miles Bros said, when purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Abuse is abuse. Using things abnormally, not for the right purpose, is inevitable. Now, the purpose of going to the school, higher institution, is to obtain your certificate. Nothing. You are not there for socialization. You are not there for moving from one place to another. You are not there to outweigh or to outshine or to dress more. But unfortunately, people have turned into a place of show and a place of gangsterism and where they misbehave. So now, as a young sister, you're in the school and you wear some dangerous, dangerous clothes. And these lecturers, most of them, they are not born again. They are from very bad background. Not all of them. Most of them. Not all. Now, uh, late Dr. Um, um, Pastor Dausa, or Bishop, our Archbishop, said, the way you dress, so you be addressed. Now, you are, well, you are putting on things that expose your body. You dress like a prostitute in the school where you see what some of them put on. In fact, let God give us good leader. We should address it. Go to the Arabs. These are people that don't know God. You will see how they are properly covered. They don't know the real God. We that claim to know the real God where they won't misbehave. I school in the north. You can't see a northern sister. I school there. I live there. They are always well dressed. You will see them. That doesn't mean they should not misbehave, but outwardly. You understand what I'm saying? Outwardly, they are always like a saint. They will cover their hair, they will cover their body, their clothes. Will wear them. But see our old people, they will wear something with their hair. Now, gang will be down for school. We be sassy, they will come like you know, for school. Some go wear, they no go wear bra. And I'm armless. All here they show. So let your away no born again now. <laughs> when they talk to you, you go look now and say, baby. <laughs> so you are already the one inviting the while I come. When I say, oh yeah, you now say no. You know, say, okay, now since you don't say, I know what it means. When he has approached you, don't he, you, he will be attacking you. He will be attacking you. Yes, because they don't know God. So what do you do to free yourself from all those? In fact, I want to cancel if you are from a humble background. Don't stress yourself. Don't bother look for we, we born. Look for cap, hat, beret, and scarf. Eh? No bother look for makeup. No look for anything. Just pack your hair all back or all front. Or tomato. Tie your scarf like a prayer warrior. I'm to somebody now. The lecturers will avoid you like a plague. They will not like you at all. And anything you want, the next one is there, where do you worship? Say, mountain of fire. Ah, that blow on a sharp fire, fire, fire. Ah, okay. What do you want? It will be doing quick, quick to leave you. Yes. <laughs> because you know, you already know you are wrong number. Your, your appearance alone is enough to tell him this one, no day for my level. It, yes. You see them, they're in school like that. Nobody talks to them, nobody touch them. You don't touch them. A daughter in this ministry, you must have had our father in the Lord. She had a sister like that. The sister went and prayed. In the night, the angel came and flogged this lecturer. Flogged him. Flogged him. He was the lecturer that said, looking for the, the sister. You are a witch. Come and go, come and go. You are a witch, come and go. Said, Lord, this man is asking me to define myself. Angel of God, go and flog him. And they flog. Oh. They flog him in the dream. He saw the mark in his body physically. You are a daughter of Zion. 
Somebody come and tell you rubbish. And it's holding you down. You pray. Oh Lord, cripple him. Paralyze him. And you must read your book. Because they will want such people like you, they will sit down when they want to mark your street, they will carry ruler line by line. And they will not use glass, they will use binocular. They will go and buy very big glass so that they will not look at your work very well. They will not, because they know that you are not ready to give them shishi and you are not ready to compromise. So they are going to mark you to find fault. So that's why you must read. Why well, you don't have your time for growing up and down? Why won't you pass? Somebody shout hallelujah. Anybody that wants to frustrate you, God will frustrate them. Shout hallelujah, somebody. That's what I will tell you. Let God. Such, things, you know, such lecturers should be sent to prison if the country is functioning. Right now, it's not working. I've told you, out there, the Western world, it's not who you know, but what you know. You don't need to say you know somebody. Once you merit it, you merit it for life. Though there are little, 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 little segregation, little, little ones. But if you are intelligent, they will not, they will not deny you. I met on somebody now. And they respect brain. They respect it. They respect genius. One of my daughter, her son, they gave him scholarship. He came out the best in his school. The school that's white and everybody he came out the best in Nigeria. So, he knows what he's doing. And they, don't, they will not deny you. They will encourage you to even do better. They will be happy. They will, they will encourage you. They will be friendly with you. But here, you see a lecturer tell you, ah, in the department for the past 20 years, nobody came out with first class. You can't come out with first class. They will tell you, Korokoro. Say, you know, get first class. You won't get first class. You say, forget about it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Don't worry yourself. Just call it your two one and go. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Have you imagined how black man is? A black man will wish you fail that you must fail. A white man will encourage you that you will excel. That's why they are doing well. But it will change in Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah, somebody. I lift up your right hand and declare. Say, oh God. Arise. Fight for me. Shout it again. Ah. Uh -huh. Fight for me. Say it again. Louder for the last time. Pray this one. Say, oh God, arise. Pursue my pursuers. Shout it seven times. One. Two. Three, four, five, number six, and number seven. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me take that sister's thing. Uh, sister Faith, come, please sit down. Wait, Oga, where the mic now? Where the Faith? Sister, come, come. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that trouble me. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that trouble me. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that trouble me. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that trouble me. Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me, Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me, Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me, say it, Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me, Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me, say it, Holy Ghost, trouble them. Any power that troubles me. Any power that troubles me, louder, Holy Ghost, 
Yes. Aha. Yes. Yes. Every troubler of your destiny. Every troubler of your ministry. Every troubler of your marriage. Every troubler of your glory. Aha. Aha. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Aha. Yes. Lift up your twins. Go up, minister. Somebody should go up. Go up. Mona, go up. Holy God! <laughs> Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Every wicked auntie. Every wicked uncle. Every wicked stepmother. That is troubling your destiny, troubling your marriage. Holy God. Aha. Aha. Yes. Who has vowed to finish your family? Aha. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Lift up your twins. Wherever they tie you down. Mashallah bozodo lebreke de bosontolia. They tie your glory. Aha, 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 holy God. Aha. Yes. 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 Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Shout this loud and clear. We want to visit our father's house now. Lift up your twins. Say, I put on the garment of fire. I put on the shoe of fire. I put on the cap of fire. I enter my father's compound. Yes. Yes. Get ready. You are your father's compound now. Yes. 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 You will lift up your voice loud and clear. Say, a strong man of my father's own. Attacking my glory. You are a liar. God bless you. God bless you. Aha. 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 Dusta, 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 Aha. Yes. Yes. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
pray the last one. Say, I put on the garment of fire. Shall say, I put on the garment of fire. I put on the shoe of fire. I put on the element of fire. I enter into my mother's compound. Stand there. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Ministers, remind me. I prayed for one sister. They said they buried something at the entrance of her father's house. Remember that girl? This one is that sister that has left. Down Gozi. Where's Williams? I prayed for one sister that they said they buried something right in front of her father's their house in front of the house before they enter, that they bury something there. Arumala, God bless you. Yes. Yes. Check that thing for me. I want you to know that, sister. Are you ready now? She will lift up her voice now. You are your mother's compound now. She's strong man in my mother's house. That hates my glory. Your end has come. Da! Open your mouth and pray. This sister, open your mouth and pray. Oh, God, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, yeah. Doctor, 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 Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. This is wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Anyone that need to die for you to fulfill your destiny, if you can shout to the path, amen, let them die on the body. Yes. Any power that want them to carry you in the stretcher, let the power die in everybody. Yes. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Spirit of death. 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 Spirit of death! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Anyone calling your name into a casket? Anyone mentioning your name in darkness? Aha, 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 holy God, holy God, holy God. Sing the name of Jesus. Louder, louder. 
take your seat. No, faith. I'll be down. Now she be choma another again. Another choma. Is the choma? Is that? Is that salary? Very short. Na pala sa. That's okay. That's it. You know come. You carried that when she was 10 years. Okay. Bring her for you. Okay. You went to the doctor. You see a star. Okay. 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 You turn her brain upside down. Jesus. Anyone that turned anything in your life upside down, I reverse it to the name of you. Turn her brain upside down. Okay. Morris, let her go. You tie her down in her father's house. Where? Where? Where in her father's house? Imo State. Which compound? Mbano. That's where you tie her. That she will never amount to somebody. Any voice that spoke that you will not amount to somebody, I cursed that voice in the name of Jesus. Loser in the name of Jesus. Now, loser. Oh, yeah, let her go. Now, loser. Loser. I'm not interested. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Yes, that's what I want. Reverse it. Reverse everything you have done. Reverse it. Reverse it. No time. Become your gain. Or oh, you have gain in Ibu. So you have gain in evil. Are you hearing now? What's that? What's so? In evil, somebody won't gain from evil. Ten years old, when you reverse her brain, you lock everything about her, turn it upside down. Have you seen? Anybody that tamper with your destiny when you were ignorant, dead or alive, I command them to die again in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I don't have time. Let go. You tie all of them. Oh, yeah, lose them. Lose them. Lose them. No time, Morris. Lose them. Now, lose. Lose them. No time. Lose. Lose them in the name of the Lose. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Yes. Let go. Yeah, Charlie. Lose them. Anything they buried in your father's compound that caged your destiny, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Ja, ja, ja. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Yes, lose them. You say, Mba, Mba, wait. 
Bano. Ah, uh, of course. Death is your punishment. Da. When I say that, I want you to die. Da. That might be sleep. Da. Oh, who do you like this? Da. Shout it. Da. Shout it. Da. Shout it. Da. You you could you could you join her to kill the mother. Okay, Morris, thank you. That is okay, Morris. Carry your load. Oh, yeah, go. Carry your load. Bye bye. And go and die. Go and die. Uh huh. Anybody that needs to die for you to be free, let them die down about Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, let me take that stamp from the ground. Faith. I am the brother to a father. I kill everybody in a family. The three children. I am the strong man, Iroko three. Anybody claiming to be Iroko, your father said, let Iroko fall in our neighbor Jesus. But that will be Friday. Who will be Friday? It's my uncle. Your uncle. Your papa, younger brother or elder brother. Junior brother. Younger brother. Yes. I, I, my name is Friday. I will keep up this month, July 15. Can I pray for somebody? Anybody that has marked dates in calendar for you. I gave them 10 days to die in the name of Jesus. Say die, you! Take your seat. As if he's the one that created her. He gave her 15th, 15th of July. You remember when this word came? That young man, Emmanuel, where is he? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, tell us a pass on the column. Pour water on fire. Pour water for your head. Wake up. Aha. 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 Amen. The power said, I want to kill him between now and tomorrow. And when I, when he was gasping, I told the power, I said, see this boy. There's a high spirit of death. They want to kill this boy. He is lucky he followed them here. It's lucky. I don't know what's mark any date for you. They will die that day. <laughs> Somebody shall fire. Emmanuel, you are sleeping. Emmanuel. 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 You are sleeping. You are sleeping. Okay. I will keep her this month, July 15. A madman told her to run to the church and she, that she will be saved. Did you ever meet a madman that told you to go and pray? 
Yes, yes, where? yes. A yes, madman yes. gave you prophecy. Yes, yes. Okay. Where? Where was that? The madman was on that chain in the church. He told me, woman, go to a mountain and pray. It is only mountain that your problem can finish. Okay. One wicked man brought her here. Evangelist Sunday, Michael. Who be the man? Evangelist Sunday. Who is Evangelist Sunday? The power said he was up yesterday. Are you the one, sir? Oh, God bless you. God will increase your anointing. Enlarge your ministry. In the name of Jesus. New doors are opening unto you. Amen. God bless you. Sit down, sir. Any power that wants to attack you because of this work you are doing, turn that kid up power. The power was very angry with him. See, that man, that man, that man, one wicked man brought her here. Evangelist Sunday Michael. Everybody honor my senior brother, but said they, they said I am a common tailor because I did not go to school. Who's the man who goes to school? He wants to be higher than me. So, Our father built those built house for him and did not build for me. This one came and starts renting and collecting money in the house. So you go rent the house out. Yes, I was the only one remain. Uh, he killed three. He killed three. He's gonna kill everybody. Kill your brother. Kill mama. Kill your brother. Go to the Anybody that wants to kill you because of what belongs to you, ah, uh -huh. if you can shout to the power, let it die on anybody. Sister, sister, listen to me. This, no, hey, sister, why you cry? Don't go and fight him. It's not the weapon of our warfare, are not cannon, but mighty true God, right? It's not a physical fight, you it's a spiritual. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality powers. Now he kill everybody. He won't kill you too. But if your own head can't be strong past you. Say my head will be stronger than that of my enemy. God, it's, she started coming to collect rent. I want to kill her. I put sickness and lizard in her body. I'm remember when the word of knowledge came. Listen to me. I thank God it manifested there. Even if she go home, if they matter, when she sleep, she will see it will come out. Amen. Say, so I put lizard in her body. Do you know my little bit? Yeah. When? Yeah. Left hand side. Yes. Uh -huh. When I told you, where did I mention? Yeah. It will be pretty. Mm. Pretty. It will move like something. Be pretty moving. Yes. Nine. Warm. Which look warm? Now lizard. Just sweat there like this. They move. They program them. But after that prayer, you don't feel anything today. I don't feel anything today. You, you don't feel any movement today. Yes. You, did you see anything there again? I didn't see anything. Did you see anything? I did not see anything again. You not see anything again. Yes. How long has it been there? This thing has been here for about two months. That been moving there. Yes. Okay. But after the prayer, any movement? Today I was even dancing. Before I, I cannot dance because of the pain. But today I was dancing. I did not see anything. Before, you cannot dance because of the pain. Yes. But now you are doing what? I dance. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Power belongs to Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. Our power belongs to Jesus. Anything my father has not planted in your body, the God that removed this one, remove it now and ever do. I keep, I, I put sickness in the body, I put lizard. I kill a father. This evangelist that is up there took me to this place. Yeah. I want to kill me. I will confess. I remove death. 
from today, you will not seek again. I took a blood to the coven. That's why she's always dry. You were machetting. Every time you're dry. Yes. You don't know which people they dry. They, they suck your blood. Anybody that connect pipe to your body, I disconnect that pipe in the mind. Say the money. Somebody shall fire. fire. I will not reduce her again. I will not suck the blood again. I poison one of her daughter. Bina, Binabri. Who be Binabri? My last daughter. Uh, evil poison your daughter. Ooh. Always sick. Yes. Always, always sick. sick. Always sick. Yes. You're not going to sick again. Jerry, Take okay. the poison out from me. I collect the blood of the husband to the river so that the man will, will melt, will not do well. Enter the river here is the blood. I carry your blood. I return it. I made the brother's wife to run with him. Which matter? My brother wife. My brother wife. Okay. Yes. Matter, come back to your husband. Now, okay. He made matter to run away. Yes. From the husband. Uh, yes. The matter should come back. I will not chase you away again. I will not pursue you again. Boy. Uh, is it true? Where are they washing? Where are they washing? Anglican church. Anglican. 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 Okay. Madam. You will not pray this man must die. If this man not die, he not going to let you rest. You must enter prayer. But you don't know now. He followed you here. He knows everything. He even know where this man was sitting now. He said that the man was up yesterday. He knows where the man is. So he knew what happened here. So, but the fire has hit him. And he will go down and never to rise up again in Jesus. It's your father's property. He said he want to kill you and collect the property. He killed your father, kill everybody, kill your brother so that he can take over the place. But you came and challenged him. I put somebody that said collected the money. Did they collect money for the rent? And they collect. How much? It's just a small house. I collected 25,000. Only 25,000. Now I won't kill you for it. a year now. I said I better money set. Only 25K we collect. Which is poverty go cause eh? You know, say when everybody, the reason why we are like this, but the wedge is not distributed evenly. Yes. So everybody is trying to one way do evil. God will help us. Man, congratulations. My joy is that that leader that, and that thing is out of your body. Anytime, I don't leave your church, but anytime there is prayer, come and pray. You hear? Where your husband? At home. In the sleep. What can they do? The civil servant. The man don't deal with tattoo, but God don't come out for anybody. Congratulations. Tell him, both of if it's any day it's a holiday, both of you should come and pray. Madam, don't play with prayer. You have an enemy. It, look at it. 15th of July was the date he gave to your enemy. What I will counsel you to do is that you'll be praying. I will Give you, tell you what to do before you leave. See me, help me, service. I'll give you prayer. I'll give you some psalms that you pray. Don't quarrel. The way I see you, you like trouble. Listen to me. Wait, 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 wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. Wait, I want to say something. A sister came here. Somebody told us. And her uncle, wait. Her uncle manifested like this. And he went, she went home, she went back to Uyo, went to the village and went and fought with the uncle. Two weeks later, the man killed her. Yes, 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 yes. She died and she will die. You know why? It's not a physical thing. You don't have that power. No comfort. Even we that are praying for you, it's the grace of God. If you don't have the covenant, that's why deliverance is very tough. If you don't have the covenant, they will come and hit you. They will kill you. 
And you heard that I was praying for somebody here. He told me that he has killed three pastors. I mean, how many persons, but how many persons died over the head of that case? One are Grace own. Okay, Grace, how many persons? Three. Three people died over that case. Major doctor died. Two pastors died over a case. There was one in a back. Seven pastors died. The sister stood and testified. She was shocked. That there was inside, and the boy said, Go outside there. That I see sister out there. Immediately I approached. I was just walking. I didn't want to. Oh, I said, I cry. I'm going. I said, No, you can't just go like that. You'll be here for long. Why did you follow her here? I said, I've killed this. I've done that. I said, I'm back your gap. I said, Yeah, this notorious so, spirit husband. I don't want to get that start to marry. And the power left. So she was shocked. She came in and testified. The last one that died, died in Onicha. So, please, this thing now, you can only share with your husband. Is your husband born again? Does he have spiritual understanding? Does he understand spiritual things? Are you sure? Okay. Just tell him what happened. But don't go and don't tell anybody outside the husband. Keep quiet. Don't be doing your prayer. You will hear news very soon. Don't quarrel. Don't say, hey, now this man killed my papa. Now he killed my Go tell me Christ. They tell you, come and prove how the man killed your papa. If you prove her, if you mention my name, I will deny you. Yes, sir. Because when they carry go court, you say, the power manifest. They say, judge will tell you, make you come manifest, but they hear you manifest. In the court, is evidence before the case. Before the, my law, the evidence before is that this woman is mental said so he manifested somewhere and is accusing this man. They will charge you and you might not come out because in Nigeria constitution, manifestation don't deal. You know how they talk? If you cannot prove it that this man killed and it must be evidential, they must see. How did you know? You must tell us this is the weapon, this is this. If you know producer, they take killer or whether they poison him. Even though they poison him, autopsy will bring him. They come bring some so this one is spiritual. They don't understand that one. So don't accuse anybody of what you don't know. This one is spiritual. That's why I want you to be very calm. What it means, God loves you and God has started fighting for you. That's why God kept you. So that, and he will not kill you. As long as you started coming here to pray, he will not kill you. Have that confidence. You will, before this year ends, you will bury that man. Say amen for her. Say, I beg, say amen for her. And I pray for you. The strong man troubling you will go down that never do. God bless you. I want to go and rest now. Please, I beg you. You wake up early. I want you to see. Uh, sister, come. Wait, man, come, come. Did you go to hospital? Did you see the doctor over it? Did you see doctor or nurse? What, what did they tell you? They did not even see anything. You didn't do scan? I did not do scan. You didn't do scan. They didn't see anything there? Yes. Okay. You are lucky you didn't go to hospital. If you had gone, or they would have told you something, and they would have said operation. Yes. I did for follow. But you are very wise. They didn't go. That's why many people died. That's why I said, if I need to have a for spiritual FPS, not operation first. Okay? Like this now. You heard that? The thing was there. Exactly the same word. Left hand side there, and the tummy, so not breathing there. It's a lizard. But now it's out. Can we clap for this great God? <laughs> Constant edit, not in the front, at the back. Heavy. A hand just remove that thing there now in Jesus' name. It's gone and never to come back in Jesus' name. Thank you, my father. God bless you. Uh, last month, I told some people, please, I'm... I'm, I'm very, very, in fact, you need to see this, that, you need to see the mixer, it's beautiful. But now money, they say soup way sweet. You don't hear them? Now which one? Money. Very, I mean, it's, it's, it's something else. Uh, we are still trying to work, you know, the engineer is studying the, the mixer, yes, the manual to get it clearer so that we can but the things that we've not finished paying, 
So all those that I called to be, what they call it, a uh, partner for the, this nonsense must stop. That you wrote your name last time. I want to create a group for you. So if you know you have that money, those people, let us use it to, to set you this thing and get out. If you have it, some of you came with it and you have the access. You can come with it to the altar now. We can balance because I must balance the many money. I see, I, I'm still owing 1.8 for that thing. The reason why we are able to get this thing is because some wonderful people that came out, two of them gave 500,000. One person gave 200. That's why we are able to get it. So many people have not redeemed it. So that's why. So two persons pay 1 million. One person pay 100,000. Uh, 200. One other person gave 200. That's why we are able to, to give them 2 million so that they can release it. So now, they are on my neck now. And when a pastor says something, they should keep to it. Am I correct? Because of another time. God bless you. I'm happy. As you are making life easy for me, you, God will make life easy for you. Hey, say Ben, I'm praying for you. Uh, 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 I say life will be easy for you. Uh, life will be easy for you. Life will be easy for you. In the name of Jesus. Where is this man? Where God free? Call Clarice, please. Please. Are you those of that are dropping this paper here? Is it your prayer request? This is not time to drop your prayer request or, or you just drop this one here. Please come and clear these things. Those of you that have the 5,000 or that want to, I, I don't know how much you wrote, but we have it. Come, come and drop it down. We need to clear this thing up so that we can, I can be free from their hand. But I see owing 1.8 million. This, this, is, this is part of what we want to buy. When we want to get the sound. This one is out. So the one we are using before, we'll give it to the youth or any of the children. Pass it to them. They can manage it. So it's not a waste. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So those of you that have it, that have been saying, want, if you have it, come and drop it. But very soon you will hear from me. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Stand, can you stand to your feet? Okay, you have it. Let's get it. Please drop it here. Drop it that place that is clear. God bless you. God bless you. You will never lack helper. I say you will not lack helper. Your children will never be stranded. Your business will prosper, will flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. You will grow from strength to strength, from glory to glory. You will not see shame. Say amen. Now, even though you are not part of them, say amen. You will not see shame. I say you will not see shame. 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 Anyone that is holding what belongs to you will release it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Money will meet money in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every helper that I forgot you this month, let it begin to remember you. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you find out this time around, I collected money for this just once. Do you observe it? You know why? Somebody gave 100,000 for one drum. Somebody gave. Clap for Jesus. So, it's not, I think we will have steady power now. It will have reduced, but we don't have power here. Since I came, it has been like that. We we'll have is a project. That one is a project because we need a transformer. So that there is a line that always have light there. We'll bring it here when time comes. Not now. Let's sort this is out first. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Now begin to those of you that are in your chair, tell God, the Lord, whatever that is here attached to me, that you, you didn't create with me, Lord, separate that thing from me now. Open your mouth and pray. Anything the enemy attached to me, 
Psalm chapter 2. That you didn't create to be with me. Lord, separate me from that thing now. The mother, the two sons, they know that I want that. That's the word of knowledge. This is an editor. Emmanuel, yes. Who started? Holy Spirit, so you don't wish to do Then, why they are doing that? You announce. Everybody has to come and see the minister that's here. Then, the minister will hear what you want to say. If it's something like this. I don't want story. So if it's ten that are good after for you, select those ten. Don't try to carry from the people every single day. You say? She they will snap it. No, they will come call and we don't know. Victor. Victor, you church. Victor Media. Victor Media. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, bring out your prayer request and your seed attached to it. We are now. Call it. Which man? Which man? Hold it. Hold it. Are you ready? Lift it up. Please, listen. You are not dropping it during the service. We'll finish our service. We'll now go into our deliverance. Brand up. But then, we'll collect it. Okay? Lift it up now. I pray for this request and the seed attached to it now. The hand of God upon this commission. Lord, that hand that you show me, that big hand that is bigger than every other hand, let that hand answer this request in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever that you have written there, let everyone attend to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your prayer request is answered in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, we men, this is impossible. He said, but with God, all things are possible. He said, is there anything too hard for me? The God of possibility. If you can shout three powerful men, answer your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Three powerful men, okay? Yeah. 
Say it is done three more times. Louder. Louder. Sit down. Madam, what the revelation say? She said you have revelation. What the revelation you have? Drop, just keep it. Keep it. Please, I want to beg you. Get up very early. Take your shower. If possible, you can do that now. Before you go and rest. Then the morning you just wash, brush your mouth, clean up, and then come and enter the service. You know why? You saw the power of children today? Everywhere. They, are, they know you are here. If you don't come and sit down before seven, they will come early and you will be outside. You that you have been here since, some of you have been here since um, Tuesday, God bless you. From crossover, you were here. It will not be the last day that you will not go and stand outside. So, occupy till I. That's the motto. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Sister Prudence from Bayesa State. Region 26. In my dream, Pastor came out and was sharing new clothes to every member in the church. New new clothes. He shared that that one finished. He went inside again and brought again and gave everybody new new clothes. Praise the Lord. New new clothes. Yes. Say Jesus, thank you for restoring my glory. Please, listen, listen. It's not old clothes, new clothes. All things are past. Behold, all things have become. One of these you will be explaining that anything you lay your hand upon now, it will prosper. It's not prayer, it's what God has done. You see, why that revelation is important is that, you know, I told you. There are some of you in the meeting. Your deliverance is not going to be here. God has started it, but he will want to show it to you in your house. Look at this woman and sleeping. With this plastic chair that they struggle with. You left your wonderful bed there. Sit well. Now, listen to me. There are people here that no matter, even if I pull my shoe pull for your head, you know, go dream. You know what? As you are here, you have not swallowed God. There are some people that never swallow. A system, not the balance. If they eat rice, no. Until they swallow God and soup, then they can get revelation. If they no swallow, no revelation. Such a person cannot dream here. Some, they don't like sleeping on the floor. Um, some, they don't like the, some people don't want noise. No, you know, there are some people that have this anointing of uh, willy willy. Why people will be going up and down? What they are looking for? You don't know. They will just be going. Waka here, waka there, waka here till they break. Such people will not allow you to. Some as you are sleeping, someone just come and shake the chair. But when you get back to your house that is very comfortable, you are the commander in chief of your house. You determine what you want to hear, what you don't want. And you eat what you like. No matter what you do. Before two days. If, I, you, you, if you close the eye, revelation. Especially when you eat what you like. Revelation will be flowing. So don't stress yourself. If you don't dream, when you get back to your house, you will dream. Yes. You will dream. Okay? God bless you in Jesus' name. Can we stand to our feet now? God bless you. God bless you. Get ready for this morning. Stand to your feet. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Lord, prepare me. Oh, send in Jesus mighty name we pray I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus I pray for somebody that will shout three thunderous amen affliction shall not ride the second time in your life The God that created the heaven and the universe. The God that called our father, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya, by the covenant that backed this ministry up. I speak into your life. 
any power that wants you to remain in perpetual bondage, that power is dead in the body. Louder. Louder. Fire of God surround this church. The power that normally comes to you in the night uninvited, tonight that power is arrested. I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. As you lie down tonight, you will have divine encounter. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace of fellowship. Surely. Oh, the days of our life, we should do it in the presence of the Lord. Want me to rest? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See you. 7 a.m. God bless you, sir. Sunday, what am I sure? MFM South of Region 46 South Road Choir, MFM South of Region 54 at Catalic Choir, MFM 10 South of Region 6 MFM South of Region 17 Woju Choir, MFM South of Region 16 Igorita Choir, MFM South of Region 11 Town Choir, MFM South of Region 48 Rumi Bo Choir, MFM South of Region 5 Youth Church Choir, MFM South South 15 Rumo Lomini Choir, MFM Al Judge Branch Choir, MFM South South Region 12 Oye Bo Choir, and many more. Fire and Miracle Ministries, South South One Regional Headquarters, Main Auditorium. Host, Pastor Lawrence Olashende, AGO African Countries, Dr. T.K. Obukwe, General Officer, Martin Fire. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry, South South One Rumola, presents a musical concert with the theme Shout Unto God with a Voice of Triumph. MFM South South Region 14 Uzoba Choir, MFM South South Region 56 South Road Choir, MFM South South Region 24 Akatali Choir, MFM 10 Mikos Choir, MFM South South Region 6 LMA Choir, MFM South South Region 17 Woju Choir, MFM South South Region 16 Igorita Choir, MFM South South Region 11 Town Choir, MFM South South Region 48 Rumi Bo Choir, MFM South South Region 5 Youth Church Choir, MFM South South 15 Rumo Lomini Choir, MFM Al Judge Branch Choir, MFM South South Region 12 Oye Bo Choir, and many more. Today is 17th July, time 2 p.m. prompt. Venue Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries, South South One Regional Headquarters, Main Auditorium. Host, Pastor Lawrence Olashende, AGO African Countries, Dr. T.K. Obukwe, General Officer, Martin Shout unto God with a voice of triumph.